Push Pull Plus Plus overcomes various challenges of previous tools. First, new faces shown in blue can be inserted adaptively. Second, other adjacent faces shown in green are adjusted intuitively. Third, edges can collapse at locations marked by blue spheres. Here are two other example edits. Our adaptive face insertion algorithm can be configured by a threshold that determines if adjacent faces are extended or new faces are inserted. We also enable the user to select from multiple extrusion directions. Even complex geometry can be edited. We now show several examples how adjacent faces are updated. The goal is to keep these faces planar. This requires calculating and adding new vertices to adjacent faces. Note that we support vertices with valences higher than 3. In the following examples, we highlight the locations of edge collapses as blue spheres. We handle edge collapses locally without requiring Boolean operations. No self-intersections are created. With our Push Pull Plus Plus tool, faces and edges can be selected and transformed. Different directions can be chosen by hovering over the corresponding arrows. Blue arrows represent high thresholds. Here we show an example that is generated with the Push Pull Plus Plus tool. The user can split faces and use push-pull plus plus operations without switching tools. Dragging edges allows rapid creation of slanted surfaces. In our evaluation, we compare our work to SketchUp and AutoCAD. We first show our solution. In SketchUp, the construction is significantly more complicated. Auxiliary lines need to be used. About 10 times more clicks are required than in our solution. Also, AutoCAD requires a lot more operations. Additionally, solid modelling operations have to be used. This requires about seven times more clicks. 